guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. Nice to meet you. So today we're going to be doing a review of one of my favorite brands, Bounce Curl. Now, obviously I've already kind of spilled the beans that I love these products. So this is going to be an informational video to kind of help you guide your purchasing decisions when you make your first Bounce Curl purchase. Because let's be real, there's going to be multiple purchases. So the way I like to do my reviews is in application order. So starting with shampoo, ending with stylers. But from the jump, I just want to mention which products I don't have. So I've never tried their Hydra Drench Cleansing Conditioner. They also have vitamins, a perfume, and a tea that I've never used, but I've tried everything else. Starting from the top with shampoo. So aside from the cleansing conditioner, Bounce Curl offers two shampoos. We got a moisturizing shampoo and a clarifying shampoo. So the moisturizing shampoo is the first shampoo that I bought from Bounce Curl and I loved it. And just to give some background, let's see how the brand describes this product. So it's apparently supposed to be a hydrating gentle cleanse with a controllable foam. And that's in parentheses for some reason that makes me laugh. Controllable foam. It protects, reduces frizz, rejuvenates, purifies, smoothens, and nourishes. And according to the back, this has 25 plant extracts and oils. So obviously this is meant to be super moisturizing. So when I first got it, I felt like it was exactly that. I thought the foam was controllable. It definitely wasn't stripping and it left my hair feeling moisturized. And so after a couple weeks of using this, I started to feel like my hair wasn't getting clean. It felt a little gunky. My hair products just weren't performing as well as they had in the past. And then I had an epiphany like, oh, duh, there's a reason why Bounce Curl also offers a clarifying shampoo. I need a little bit of a stronger clean. So I also picked up the clarifying shampoo. So it's kind of hard not to talk about these hand in hand. So the clarifying shampoo is a gentle deep cleanse, high foam slash suds, cleanses without drying out hair, purifies, creates volume, shines and nourishes. And this one has 18 plant extracts and oils, but is definitely not as moisturizing as this guy. So this is a clarifying shampoo. It's meant to kind of give your scalp a little bit of a deep clean and make sure that any buildup is removed. While this definitely isn't the strongest clarifier that I've used, it's perfect for use on a weekly basis. What I do during the week is I use this in the middle of the week and then on the weekends when I wash, when I want to have that perfect wash day for going out, seeing friends, making my hair last the whole weekend, I'll use this guy. I think that this is too much for me to use like on an every wash basis, but if I need to use it like twice in a row because I felt like a wash didn't go well or I had too much product in my hair, it's still okay to use this. I always use a regular conditioner after the moisturizing and I sometimes use a regular conditioner after this one. Other times I'll use a deep conditioner just depending on my schedule, but I don't feel like it's drying to the point where I have to use a deep conditioner. So you can usually find both of these products on sale for 20 bucks on Bounce Curl site and that is for an eight fluid ounce bottle. So they're not that big, but I know that Bounce Curl is actually working on bigger sizes. I should note that this is also the old design. Bounce Curl actually just updated their packaging. So if you see something that's looking a little different than this, that's why. So moving on to conditioner. So Bounce Curl currently has only one rinse out conditioner, although I believe they're working on a deep conditioner and that is their vitamin enriched super smooth cream conditioner. And I don't know if you could tell, but this is empty because I use it almost every time I wash. This is like my holy grail conditioner. I cannot even describe how much I love this. It is the perfect amount of moisturizing for regular use and it just makes my hair look so good. And honestly, before I tried Bounce Curl Shampoo and Conditioner, I thought that like what shampoo and conditioner you used didn't matter. I thought that the stylers were the important part and then I started using this and I was like, oh no, oh no, yeah, it's important. It's very important. To give you the description that Bounce Curl gives, this detangles slash hydrates, prevents breakage, shines, protects, repairs, and nourishes. So this also has 20 plant extracts and oils. This product just makes it so easy to detangle your hair. It just absolutely glides right through it. And I do use a lot and I've repurchased this one like many, many times. So I am a huge 
huge fan of this one. And once again, you could find this on their website for 20 bucks for eight fluid ounces. Truly cannot wait until they come out with the big sizes of this one. Alrighty, moving on to leave-in. So this is a relatively new product from Balance Crawl. I think this came out last summer. This is their Moisture Balance Leave-In Conditioner. This is supposed to be a treatment primer and styler made with five ancient Eastern Mediterranean oils. Ooh. And it's supposed to create strong, shiny, healthy, and soft hair. This is kind of like a crazy product for me. I have gotten such good results using this as the only product in my hair. A leave-in. Only. And as you can see by this picture, these are like comparable results to what I've gotten with like my full shebang, the whole routine. So that is one of my absolute favorite ways to use this product just as a styler alone. I also really, really like using this when I slick my hair back. So sometimes during the week, it's day three or four, my hair just didn't turn out right, I want to throw it in a bun. I will use this to make sure that my ends stay hydrated. I'm sure you guys have all experienced this where you put your hair in a bun and then you take it out at the end of the day and your ends just feel like dry and gross. Coating my hair in this leave-in just makes sure that it stays moisturized all day and I don't get that weird dry feeling when I take it out of the bun. I also like using it to make sure that my baby hairs all stay in place. So when I throw my hair back, I'll then take a little bit of the leave-in and water and kind of like smooth everything over. And that also provides some extra moisture. So as far as pricing goes, this one is a little bit more expensive than the other conditioner. So this one is currently on sale for $23.99 for six fluid ounces. So next up, we have another product that launched last summer, which is Bounce Curls Avocado 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 and rose oil clump and define cream so this is a super moisturizing highly concentrated cream that is supposed to offer a little bit of hold with a lot of moisture so according to the description oh it's exactly that <laughs> moisturizing defining styling cream that will lightly hold curls in place that's what i said this one i really don't need more than a pea-sized amount of it is that concentrated and it works super duper well it gives you some super moisturizing super shiny curls so for those of you that have super duper fine hair i do want to stress that this is super concentrated so for my hair i only use like a little bit more than a pea size amount which is not a lot i do not go through this quickly at all so if that's your hair type, maybe this wouldn't be your first choice, but it still can work for you. Like I honestly was surprised at how much I liked this because I typically stay away from products that are on the heavier side, but I got good results out of it. So this guy is at the same price point as the leave-in. So this is $23.99 for six fluid ounces. Alrighty y'all, it's time to talk about my first ever holy grail product. If you've seen my curly journey video, this story may sound a little familiar. If we go back to 2018 and I was just kind of new to the curly girl method and using a lot of drugstore products, a lot of products that were on the heavier side, not having the success that I really wanted. I saw a tutorial of someone using bounce curl light cream gel on Instagram and I was like, I'm gonna try it. Right away, it made a difference on my hair. First off, I had not been using any high protein products ever. This was my first ever high protein product and it immediately made a difference on my hair. Like I was absolutely blown away by how curly my hair looked after I used this for the first time. So Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel is one of my favorite products to use as a single styler and it is the only thing I have in my hair today. Literally, literally the only thing. There's nothing else. So as soon as I got this product, it was like immediately my holy grail. I wasn't using it with any cream under when I first started and it is still one of my holy grails today. This is the product that I recommend to everyone if you are struggling with over moisturized hair. It is so good. Now I will mention that there is a little bit of a learning curve with this one if you've never used a high protein product before. At times it can give a little bit of flash drying, which is not a bad thing. It just makes it a little bit harder to style when your hair feels a little bit dry as you're applying the product. But I got a little bit of flash drying today and I don't think I would say these are bad results with you. So let's talk a little bit more about what exactly this product is. 
So it's described as a light hold cream gel. Now I know that the words light hold and the words cream are really off-putting to people and you're like, I don't want that. I need a gel and I need hard hold. Listen, this is the first product that ever got me day two hair and day three hair. This is from a light hold product that carried me through multiple days. For me, light hold has always meant it's not gonna suffocate my hair and that I get these big bouncy curls where my hair can breathe and actually spring up. And I found that with hard hold gels, my curls are a lot looser because they're weighed down a little bit and kind of like suffocated. Like I imagine the gel being so hard that it's not letting my curls kind of have their most springy shape, if that makes sense. Next, the word cream. Now I will say this gel definitely does have an interesting texture and I'll show you guys. It's pretty like loose. Like see how like that's kind of watery. This is like totally has slid down my hand. I don't know if you could even see it anymore because it kind of turned clear, but it's not a cream at all. Like if you can't see it, that is not what a cream does. So a couple recommendations if you do decide to buy this gel. First off, when you style, make sure your hair is absolutely dripping, soaking wet, like the wettest it could possibly be. If you start to get a little flash drying, meaning if your hair starts to feel a little dry as you're applying it, add more water. If you don't like that feeling and you don't necessarily get your favorite results, then I would experiment with putting something under it. So using a cream or a leave-in is definitely a good way to go. It doesn't have to be Bounce Girl brand, but using something underneath that's moisturizing that can kind of give your hair like a barrier between the gel and the hair shaft might prevent that feeling. So there's been times that I've used this and I've had flash drying. There's been times that I've used this and I didn't. I think it just depends pretty much on how much protein I've used in my hair lately. But this is like such a good product for me. It's such a reliable product for me. I also do want to mention that they recently changed the scent of this, which I'm actually really sad about. It used to have kind of like more of a mango scent. Now it's kind of a very sweet pineapple, which I'm not used to yet. I like it, but... I do miss the previous scent. And I will say it does stay on your hair a little bit. Like I can smell some sweetness, but it's not like, like I had to put my nose to my hair to smell it. I'm not like walking around through the day getting whiffs of it. So just something to keep in mind if you are sensitive to smell. So Bounce Curl actually offers two sizes of this one. They have an eight ounce and a 12 ounce. So the eight ounce goes for $17.99 when it's on sale. And like I mentioned, you can usually find things on sale on their site. And the 12 ounce is $24.99. This is the 12 ounce. This is the only size that I buy. And last but not least, we got the hairspray. So I am a huge fan of this product. And this is coming from someone who was a hairspray addict prior to starting the Curly Girl Method. So first I just wanna talk about how I use hairspray. So I actually just posted a tutorial on this on my Instagram. The way I've always used hairspray since I constantly leave the house with my hair wet is spraying it on damp or wet hair. It is my absolute last step before I leave the house. The bus is coming. I am diffusing right before I run out the door and I just spritz some hairspray and I go. It just creates like this protective net on your hair. And I really do think that it does an awesome job with humidity protection to the point where if I don't use it on my hair damp before I go outside, I kind of feel like, like I, I could feel that I didn't use it, if that makes sense. Now, if you are coming from aerosol hairsprays, this is gonna be a little bit of a different experience for you. It does come out wet. It does need a little bit of time to dry. I would say it's a little bit on the stickier side, but in general, I've gotten the same benefits to my hair that I loved from my Tresemme Tray 2 hairspray, which used to be my go-to. Now, the only downside to this product is that the sprayer can get clogged. So originally, Bounce Curl had this in a slightly different packaging where it was in a sprayer, kind of like how leave-ins come, one of those. Is this describing it? Yeah. But they switched to this sprayer, which is definitely easier to use, but because of the formula, it still gets a little clogged. Near the end of the bottle, it'll just shoot out in one stream or just kind of like dribble out. So all you have to do to fix that is run some hot water over the top 
but just something to know before you purchase. So when this guy's on sale, it is $17.99. And I should mention that this one is 100% Curly Girl approved, alcohol free. So those are all the products. And I just wanted to take a second to mention some of the products that Bounce Curl is working on. If you can't tell already, I'm like literally obsessed with this brand. So I stalk anytime they like post about a new product or something that's upcoming. So I believe that they're coming out with a mousse, a hard hold gel, ACV scalp treatment, a butter, a deep conditioner. I think there's something else that I missed, but travel sizes. So they have a lot of good stuff coming in the pipeline. So hopefully I will get the chance to review those for you guys in the future. So I totally recommend all of the products I've talked about. There are discounts out there too. So make sure to keep an eye out, but I hope you guys try these products and I hope you guys love them as much as I do. Now, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if there are any other brands you want to see me review, make sure to leave it in a comment down below. I hope you guys have a great day, night, whatever time it is, and I'll see you guys soon.